This is going to be a real quick introduction to using FMX Linux to deploy into the web browser using the Broadway D over WSL2, Windows Subsystem for Linux. So first thing we need is we need to install FMX Linux. If you don't have it installed, you can get it from the Get It Package Manager. And then you need to go into Control Panel and turn Windows features on or off and make sure you have Windows Subsystem for Linux checked. Uh, if you don't have it checked, you'll need to reboot. Or, uh, WSL2 was added in Windows 10 2004, which came out in uh, May of 2020, I believe. So most likely you've already have that installed. Once you've done that, then you need to install Ubuntu, which you can get from the Windows Store. Uh, if you get Ubuntu without a version number after it, then that is the latest LTS version of Ubuntu and will be updated in the future. Also, I like to use the Windows Terminal, uh, highly recommended. It has a tabbing interface and WSL is integrated into that automatically. Once you install Ubuntu, the first time you run it, it's gonna take a little while because it has to finish setting things up and it's gonna prompt you for your credentials. So then I have a script you can use to set everything up for Delphi development. Here's the script right here. You can um, just paste the individual lines in here if you want to, or read it and understand what it's doing and just grab the parts you want. Or you can use wget to download it into uh, WSL2, into Ubuntu, and run it from there. Now this, or it should work with other Ubuntu installations. So if you install Ubuntu as a vir regular virtual machine, this should work with that as well. I'm gonna use wget to install it. I've already got wget uh, installed. So I'm just going to say, uh, let's see, I'll copy this to the clipboard, copy link address. And then in here, I will say, so I'm going to go to my home folder. Look, there's nothing here. So I'll say wget and then the name of the file. And it gets the file name there automatically. So now we have it. And then I'm going to say chmod plus x. Oops. Setup. And then I say setup. And it's going to ask me for my password. This would be the password for Linux, not your Windows password, unless they both happen to be the same. And assuming I didn't mess up my script in the last change I made, this should just run and set everything up. How long it takes to set everything up depends on how fresh of a Ubuntu installation you have. I will actually explain the different parts of this real quick while this is running. Uh, it's here is going to update the a package manager, install the necessary packages. Then it's going to download PA server from the uh, Embarcadero servers here and set up the folders, extract it out, and then create a script to launch it for you. So there we go, it's finished downloading it, installing everything. It does put uh, right here, if you wanna launch PA server again later, you just run this command here and that will, uh, that's the path to it, the full path to it, so you can do it from anywhere. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what is going on here. Um, if we look here, this is this is the script. I guess I could delete the script now, um, RM setup. But then if we go into PA server, we have a 21.0 folder, which is where PA server, uh, the Sydney version of PA server is installed. The idea is that we can have multiple versions of PA server you need to have, but also I put it in the PA server folder because this is the folder that uh, is the default scratch folder for PA server. So that way you have one folder here instead of two. I thought that made sense. Uh, PA. Okay. So now PA server is running. Let's now go back into Delphi tools, options, and deployment. And if we just go here to SDK manager and I hit add uh, platform, we'll say Linux, add new connection profile. I'll just call it WSL. And the remote machine address is 127.0.0.1, .0 .0 .1, 
which seems wrong because Linux is a different computer, not local computer, but they share the same IP address, which means you share the same ports. Hit test. Yep, it works. So we'll hit finish. It went out and detected what version of Ubuntu it is, and I run this. Um, I've imported this before, so... And it's done. So now we are ready to go. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a new multi-device application. And I could open up a sample. Any FireMonkey application should work. But I'm just... I love the classic demo application. All right, that's here we go. List one items dot add. And so I'll run this on Windows. You know, it's the demo you've seen a thousand times. Hello, Windows. Ba -doom. But now I can come in here and run this on Linux. So I have PA server running, but I need to also run Broadway D. So I can click here, Ubuntu, and just type Broadway D. All right, now Broadway D is running. It defaults listening on port 8080. And I'll usually rename this. And so now I run that. And so now the server is running. And so if I come in here and go to localhost 8080, there we go. There's my FireMonkey application. And I can say hello, HTML 5. And then I click the button. There we go. So now I've quickly deployed a FireMonkey application to HTML on Windows Subsystem for Linux using FMX Linux.